A woman was attacked by a crocodile in Dagong Bay, Australia, and two men fought the crocodile to try to save her life. Dagong Bay is a popular vacation spot in Western Australia, and Tara Hawks was working as a hostess aboard a luxury cruise liner on April Fool's Day. She decided to go out in the dinghy to a shallow area for a swim to cool off. The area is known to have crocodiles, so her friend, Big Al Sartori, checked the water before she dove in. Shortly after getting into the water, a crocodile locked its jaws onto her leg. She yelled croc and started screaming for help. Al was watching from the shore, but initially he thought she was playing an April Fool's joke on her, until he saw the nine-foot croc attached to her leg. Al immediately jumped into the water and onto the crocodile's back and started trying to pry its jaw open. Now, though you can keep a croc's jaw closed with just a rubber band, the muscles that close a crocodile's jaw exert a force of about 1,540 pounds, which is the force equivalent to a truck falling off of a cliff. Another bystander, Mike Fletcher, jumped in to hold Tara's head above water to keep her from drowning. Now, crocodiles can't bite or chew. Instead, they rely on a locked jaw. Then they pull their prey underwater to drown them. If that doesn't work, they resort to a move called the death roll. The death roll is where a croc pulls its victim underwater and turns it over in order to drown it and rip off pieces of its flesh. One of the only ways to escape the grip of a crocodile is to push your thumbs into its eyeballs and it'll release its bite. Fortunately, Al knew this, and while he was still on the crocodile's back, he jabbed his fingers into its eyes and pressed as hard as he could. The croc released its grip enough for Mike to pull Tara loose. Al and Mike then put Tara into the dinghy and they sped back to the true north where a helicopter was waiting to airlift her to the hospital. Once there, surgeon spent the next four hours desperately trying to piece her leg back together. Tara's made a miraculous recovery after seven months of intensive physiotherapy and both Big Al and Mark have won awards for their bravery and selfless acts from the Royal Life Saving Society. For more related videos, check out the links below or just click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.